Provincial police are investigating after a small town's website was taken over. It was apparently hacked by an Islamic extremist group. But as Salima Shivji reports, it was likely a random cyber attack, not one aimed at the town itself. The town of Terrasse Vaudreuil may be small, with no restaurant or grocery store, but it somehow became the target of a cyber attack. This website, filled with need to know information for Terrasse Vaudreuil's 2,000 citizens, switched to this. A group calling itself Mecca, Middle East Cyber Army, took control. In Allah we trust, the message reads, for Allah we work. Screw you, Charlie Hebdo. Islam is and always will dominate. It's something you don't like to happen because you have a feeling of violation, like why did they do this? But in my point of view, it's totally at random. The website joins thousands of others that were breached in the days following the deadly attack on French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, some even by the same group, Mecca. But Kelly says Terrasse Vaudreuil's confidential information is safe. Our website server is actually located off-site and handled by a private firm. Uh, so there's no way that that breach have, could have gotten into our personal information. It's totally apart. Town officials may say that the attack was random, but some residents aren't reassured. It's very dangerous. It's not good for us, for our community, for our society, and the security of our life is, is a very bad sign. It's assez, uh, it's assez trouble. Terry Cutler is an ethical hacker. He says it's relatively easy to attack a site. Because there's some automated tools out there that hackers have that have just been deployed, and it goes out and scans for these types of websites. And if they find vulnerability, it automatically goes and attacks it and, and defaces it. He says the town needs to upgrade its software and perform an audit to find flaws on the site, or the hackers will strike again. Town officials say they will look at all avenues to make sure this doesn't happen again. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Terrasse Vaudreuil.